السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کامل ہیڈ لائنز فرسٹ Afghanistan has handed over the body of martyred police officer Tahir Khan Dawar to a Pakistani delegation at Turkham Gate. Foreign Office spokesperson has urged the international community to impress upon India to immediately halt the genocide of innocent Kashmiris. Prime Minister will pay a two-day visit to Malaysia on Tuesday for talks on promoting bilateral ties in diverse fields. Leader of the House in Senate says the government believes in complete freedom of media and will not influence it in any way. PTI candidates won Senate by election on two seats defeating rival PMLN in Lahore today. In the ICC Women's World T20, Pakistan will take on New Zealand tonight. In detail. The dead body of the martyr disrepentant of police Peshawar Tahir Khan Dawar has, hand, has been handed over to a Pakistani delegation on Pakistan-Awan border at Torkham this evening. Minister of State for Interior Shahriyar Khan Afridi and Khaybar Pakhtun Khwa Minister for Information Shokat Yusuf Zai were also present at Torkham to receive the dead body of Tahir Dawar. Tahir Khan Dawar was kidnapped by some unknown persons in Islamabad on 26th of last month. His dead body was recovered in Nangarhar province of Afghanistan the day before yesterday. Earlier Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Mohammad Faisal strongly condemned the delay by Afghanistan in returning the body. Addressing weekly news briefing in Islamabad today, he said Afghan charge D affairs was summoned twice to Foreign Office on this issue. On Moscow format talks on Afghanistan, the spokesperson said Pakistan has a policy of constructively engaging at all forums meant for Afghan peace and stability. In pursuance of the same policy, Pakistan participated in the Moscow format, a consultation process initiated by the Russians. About Pak-US ties, the FO spokesperson admitted that there are challenges in relations between the two countries. He said, we do see the utility of engagement with the United States. He said relationship between Islamabad and Washington is wide ranging and both have had discussions on areas of cooperation beyond Afghanistan. Referring to the occupied Kashmir, the Foreign Office spokesperson said Pakistan highly condemns the continued incarceration of Asya Andrabi in Tehar jail on trumped up charges. He said Indian attempts to muzzle the right of self-determination and gross violation of basic rights of Kashmiris, including the right to expression through concerted measures to block social media accounts, exposing Indian atrocities across Indian occupied Kashmir are deplorable. Dr. Mohammad Faisal urged the international community to impress upon India to immediately halt its human rights abuses in the held valley to end the genocide of innocent Kashmiri. Pakistan Army has condemned the brutal murder of SP Tahir Dawar in Afghanistan. In a tweet message today, Director General Inter Services Public Relations Major General Asif Ghafoor said, We have lost a brave police officer. He said SP Tahir Dawar's abduction move to Afghanistan murder and follow-up behavior of Afghan authorities raise various questions. He said while investigations by Pakistani authorities are in process, we reiterate that Afghan security forces should cooperate in border fencing and bilateral border security coordination to deny use of Afghan territory against Pakistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan will pay a two-day official visit to Malaysia from Tuesday. This was stated by Foreign Office spokesperson Dr. Mohammad Faisal in his weekly briefing in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister would be accompanied by a high-level delegation. The spokesperson said this would be the first state visit by any foreign leader to Malaysia since Dr. Mahathir Mohammad assumed office in May 2018. Prime Minister Imran Khan and his Malaysian counterpart will have a tete-a-tete, -tete, which will be followed by delegation-level talks. This is Radio Pakistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan will brief about the achievements of government in various sectors during the first 100 days on 29th of this month. This was stated by Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Chaudhary Fawad Hussain, while giving a briefing on cabinet decisions in Islamabad this evening.
He said the landmark achievements in education, health, environment, management and other sectors during the three months are itself a record in the history of the country. A delegation of Daudi Bohra Jamaat, headed by Sheikh Kumail Sheikh Yunus, called on President Dr. Arif Alvi in Islamabad today. The president appreciated the role of Bohra community in the socio-economic development of the country. He also commended the role of Bohrani Foundation in perseverance of environment. The president urged the Bohra community to play a constructive role in clean and green Pakistan campaign. The delegation informed the president that they are providing a gift of half a million saplings to be planted in the country. Chairman Senate Sadiq Sanjrani in his ruling asked the Information Minister Chaudhary Fawad Hussain to tender apology for the harsh language he used against opposition members in the yesterday's sitting of the House. He said if the minister concerned does not comply with the ruling, then he will be barred from attending the remaining sittings of the current session of the upper house. The chairman said the government shares more responsibility for ensuring peace and tranquility in the House. Leader of the House in Senate Shibli Faraz has expressed the hope that both opposition and the government will demonstrate responsibility in running business of the House in a smooth manner. To taking floor, he thanked the opposition for their cooperation to maintain tranquility in the House. He, however, said the government will continue to raise issues concerning public interests, including eradication of corruption. Regarding points about media raised by some senators, he said the government has nothing to do with the downsizing drive of some media houses. He said we believe in complete independence of media and will not influence it in any way. Speaking on the occasion, opposition leader Raja Zafarul Haq said they have no objection of if the government raises the issue of corruption, but the accountability process must be across the board instead of opposition-centric. The Senate today unanimously passed a resolution calling upon the government to take concrete steps for repatriation of Dr. Afia Siddiqui from the United States at the earliest. The resolution moved by Senator Talha Mahmood showed a serious concern over continued detention of Dr. Afia Siddiqui in the United States. It appreciated the efforts of the parliament to bring the daughter of nation back home. The House will meet now again tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning. Walid Iqbal and Simi Ezdi of Pakistan Tariq Insaf have won Senate seats in the by-elections on a general and women reserved seat from Punjab. The polling was held in Punjab Assembly Building in Lahore today. Walid Iqbal got 184 votes, while his opponent, PMLN candidate Saud Majid, secured 176 votes. Whereas Simi Azdi got 183 votes, while her opponent, PMLN candidate Saira Afzal Tarar, secured 175 votes. In occupied Kashmir, the All-Party Suryat Conference Chairman Sayyid Ali Gilani, while expressing concern over the plight of Kashmiri prisoners, has said that judicial victimization of the Kashmiri political detainees is at peak in and outside the territory. Sayyid Ali Gilani, in a statement in Sirinagar, said the revengeful attitude of the Indian rulers against the Kashmiri prisoners has crossed every limit of heartlessness and insensitivity. He said pro-freedom leaders and workers are subjected to repeated application of a draconian Public Safety Act on the frivolous charges. Malaysian Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamad has conveyed the message to the United States that there must be warships in ASEAN, there must be no large warships in ASEAN waters. Speaking on the sidelines of the ASEAN Summit 2018 in Singapore, Dr. Mahathir said Malaysia has conveyed its stance that the seas around the ASEAN region should be free of big warships. He said small petrol boats are needed to deal with piracy, but presence of large warships may cause tensions. The Brexit Sec Secretary Dominic Raab has resigned, saying that they could not support Prime Minister Theresa May Brexit plan. In the ICC Women's World T20, two matches will be played tonight. The first match will be played between India and Ireland, while the second match between Pakistan and New Zealand. Both matches will be played at Providence. And finally, the weather. Mainly cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain, thunderstorm with snowfall over the hills occurred at isolated places in Malakand, Hazara, Lahore divisions, Islamabad, Gilgit Baltistan and Kashmir. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.